According to a Georgia Street, contract negotiations broke down on the week of October 10th between Translink and the union that represents transit operators and maintenance staff. There have been continuing talks, but no agreement has been reached yet between Coast Mountain Bus Company and the workers' union. It just wasn't as, as high as it is today. Um, and even though it was um, a larger amount of buses that were off the road in 2001, um, it, um, it's affecting more people, or it could, it could be affecting more people um, this time around just because of the amount of uh, people using the SkyTrain. According to a 2017 survey done by the Langara Geography Department, nearly 85% of students take transit to commute to the college. You have this demographic, you know, in students, and when you look at some of the statistics, um, like for Langara, you know, we did a transportation survey back in 2017, and you had nearly 85% of all students taking transit for a portion of their trip. And so you've got a lot of a lot of that demographic on transit, using transit right then and there. The last time a transit strike happened in Vancouver was in 2001, which left riders without service for 123 days. When people get pushed out of their comfort zone and out of their habits, particularly around commuting, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing because then you then start to take different types of transportation. I can walk, I, I'm walking distance from the Canada Line, so I'm hope if the uh, strike doesn't affect the Canada Line, then that will be fine. If not, then I will have to get a ride from somebody. If, well, if I had a car, I definitely would be driving, but yeah, that's probably the uh, alternative I would take. According to Vancouver is awesome, the Transit Authority informed riders in the morning on November 8th that it would have reduced frequency on 25 specific bus routes in the region. Now, Transit says that it won't likely be able to say which routes are affected by job action. This was Maxim Fossey for the Langara Voice.